Ruta. Please subscribe to Serenazzi Travel. Thank you. And thank you, Maxwell, for that amazing um, uh, display of uh, humble request to subscribe to Sharon to Sea Travel. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Good evening, everyone. To Monday Night Live. Is that what we call this? Monday Night Live? Is that the official term? I, I guess so. Have we ever been contacted by Saturday Night Live, like with a cease and desist letter? Oh, my gosh. We kind of stole that. What's up, uh, guys? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Monday Night. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Um, if I may, I'd like to take a moment to introduce... Uh, us okay my name is Jamie I am the the person on the left of your screen if I'm not mistaken and uh, and to my left your right is the one the only the amazing the talented the reason you're all here tonight <laughs> Sharon from Sharon at sea travel <laughs> what's up baby uh, how you doing I, I'm doing great are you I'm, um you look lovely tonight as usual I am excited this week thank you I am excited this week because we are Going to be going somewhere in a couple days. We are finally, finally going somewhere. Out. It's been a while since we've gone somewhere. And sometimes I feel bad because we're talking about going somewhere like it's been a long time. And maybe it hasn't been that long a time. I know some people have, have barely been let up on lockdown wherever they are in the cities and the towns and the states and the countries that they live in. So yeah. uh, we are excited to be uh, celebrating a bunch of things this week. Um, I mean, I think the most important thing we're celebrating has got to be what? My birthday? Coming up here over the weekend. I mean, that's kind of—is that the number one thing? I mean, that's what everyone's here for, right? I think I everyone's know. here for for the birthday celebration. I, I think. Let's see. There's a lot of things going on in January. But okay. I, All right. I think the most important is our son's birthday, right? Don't you always put your children before yourself? Uh, you know, I did for a while there, for a while. But I mean, he's a lot older now. He's a big kid. He's he's gonna turn sixteen. Uh, I th I think sometimes you have to you have to take the attention and bring it back upon yourself. Well, sometimes I, I, you got to take care of number one, don't I, you? I still think that that's the number number one priority this month. All right. Well, yeah, so we'll put your birthday next. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> guys, we're just teasing because the big event coming up tomorrow, Sharon. Happy anniversary, baby. Uh, thank you. 19 years of wedded bliss, as that's I crazy. like to call it. Unbelievable. Who would have thought that 19 years ago? Was it not? No, no. At this no. point, it's probably what twenty-one years ago when we first met in that Dunkin' Donuts no, we, parking lot. We knew each other. Twenty-two almost years, twenty-two almost and a half. Four years. Twenty-four, twenty-three think, years ago. No, I think we knew each other about almost four years before we got married. Really? We, yeah, we we knew each other a while. Well, you know, and he had to make sure you're the one. Yeah. Uh, we all know yeah. that. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so uh, a lot going on. Um, <laughs> so thanks for joining us on this big. Not only is this uh, the show before we travel to uh, to a foreign land, but also we're celebrating an anniversary. We're celebrating my birthday. We're celebrating Matthew's birthday coming up at the end of the month. Um, and while we're on the topic of Matthew, oh. thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. A number of you have already have have already. Uh, sent uh, a few notes and cards and things like that, and that yeah. is unbelievable. I went to the PO box, and there were some things from Matthew, and it really put a smile on his face. Yes, he was super excited. So, so, uh, so very nice. We certainly appreciate that. And um, and while we're on the topic of appreciation, um, I don't know if I, I guess I'll just start off with this. Uh, you guys know that we we um, we don't ask for much. We love to, we like to give, we give our time. Uh, we we want to be part of your uh, activity, your routine, your, your Monday nights. And, uh, and we love hanging out with you guys and the spending chat. quality time yeah. together. What's that? Oh, you want to see yeah. the chat? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I can't. I was just busy looking at how beautiful you were. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and that's always important to us. And we don't ask for much in, in return um, because we just really enjoy being here. And uh, But every once in a while, um, I mean, people send us things and we always say thank you directly to them. We don't do a big deal about thanking people on 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 screen because it's just not uh, how we roll. But um, And others do, and that's totally fine with us, to each their own. But, but every once in a while, someone does something that really, I mean, just blows us away. And it's like, wow, that is above and beyond. And that is wild and crazy. And um, tonight, uh, I, I got to say that tonight's beverages, I mean, are we right that tonight's beverages are sponsored by a certain person? Um, yes. Tell them, tell them, what, what do we got going on tonight, Sharon? Um, well, thank you, Alfred Inglesby, for um, sending us some nice, um, tasty drinks. Wow. Um, some 
vodkas, different some different flavored. Um, mm-hmm. Jamie has a barreled vodka he's drinking tonight in a oh, dirty my. martini. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute because I'm excited. Some other vodkas, even a mango flavored vodka, which made some great um, mango martinis I tried this weekend. And mm. We talked about, I think a couple weeks ago, about ice wine. Yeah, somebody was talking about wine, and someone mentioned you got to try some ice wine. And so Alfred went ahead and sent a little ice ice wine. wine. So um, we have two flavors. This is called an ice apple wine, which I wanted to try tonight because I thought it would be kind of, I like fruity flavored things, and it is really good. Um, And then there's also a Riesling ice wine, which we're going to drink tomorrow night on our official anniversary that is right and i and and tonight thank you take a look at this this my friends is a uh, it's a dirty martini but it's not just any dirty martini this dirty martini is made with uh the the vodka is called gvok uh k-v-o-k if i'm not mistaken um and uh uh, it's a brand that I wasn't familiar with, and there's a couple different flavors that Alfred sent. So thank you so much for that. This particular one, let me show you guys this. Cheers. Oh, we get a cheers. cheers? Jamie. Happy anniversary, babe. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my. Oh my. This is so good. Oh my. It's so good. So this one is it's um it's made in at the Kentucky Mist Distillery, Whitesburg, uh, Kentucky, U.S. of A. And this is called the. Uh, let me make sure you can see this. Okay. All right, so this is called, this is Whitesburg 1902. It's a barreled vodka. And what they mean by that, if you notice, it's vodka, but look, it's, oh, hey, you can see me right in there. (laughs) Hello, hello. Um, uh, It's got a little bit of a tint to it. It it looks like a dirty martini. It is is vodka. (laughs) It does look dirty. It's vodka that's made and stored in white oak um, Kentucky whiskey barrels. So it takes on a hint of color and a hint of flavor uh, from the whiskey and and it's really I mean it's freaking awesome so uh if you stumble across Kavak uh, vodka uh, check it out and and Alfred dude thanks you're amazing thank you so much for that uh the uh, who makes the ice wine and that Tallman is interested oh it's uh, made by uh Sheldrake, that bottle Sheldrake up there. point let's, let's see yeah. there you go oh, let me turn it that way Sheldrake Point Ice Apple Wine, and the other one is the other one is it's the regular Riesling. stuff. Uh, the other, uh, the it, same manufacturer. Yeah, it's a Riesling. Okay. Yeah. I know Sharon. She just keeps going. It's a Riesling. Oh. It's a Riesling. <laughs> So, uh, so very nice, um, and uh, we certainly appreciate that. So, thank you so much. It came right in time for the anniversary and the celebrations, and we appreciate that. Uh, should we jump in the chat and say hi to some folks yeah, and see what's going on out there? See what's going on, and then we can get into the agenda. Is there an agenda for tonight? There's a not, lot. I mean, we not really our agenda is to to to, <laughs> to try to make sure that we are done and ready for some traveling coming up. Uh, Nitro two two eight eight says, "I'm telling you that ice apple is amazing. It is amazing. It is it very is. tasty. Let me get another sip. I can't just get a sip of that." <laughs> I just want a little sip of that. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Mm. It just it smells good. It tastes good. Mm. <clears throat> ah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Timothy Walters, thank you so much oh, for the super you, chat. Timothy. Happy anniversary, Jamie and Sharon. Much love to you both. Oh, I hope you are feeling better, Timothy, and resting. Yes. Resting your ankle. Yeah, Timothy has been laid up a little. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I think there's HIPAA laws. I can't disclose what's Uh ailing him. He can share that if he wants. But uh, let's just say he is. It's a it's non Perlman 19 related. First off, just so you know. and he had a little uh, slipper doodle, and uh, and he's been recovering for a little bit, laying low. And uh, we hope the best. We wish the best for you, Timothy. You know we love you, uh, man. We've been. He's been a dear friend of ours for a long, long time. Finally meeting him at, in Vegas, and we hope that you're doing well out there, brother. Uh, also, really quick, let's just say hi to a couple of folks. Okay. Uh, you know them, you love them, you can't live without them. Of course, we've got the one and only nautical nurse Nancy, who's in the house tonight. What's up, Nancy? Nancy is one half of the amazing moderator crew here at the Sharon Sea Travel, and you know she's so much more than a moderator now. Sometimes I feel like I'm, like, I don't know, I'm not insulting her. Maybe I, I think she still enjoys it, but she's got a world of her own. She created an entire freaking nautical nurse nancy empire she's been getting caught up on some videos that people have been waiting for she just recently yeah. put out her um another horizon video and it happened to be from our group crews. yeah so that's kind yeah, of yeah cool. that was that was really fun it brought back some great memories and just watching cruise videos in general right now that we haven't seen already mm-hmm. is awesome because there's really not much out there so i'm glad you saved those nancy and that you're just putting them out now so we can all watch them yes although nancy <laughs> there's one scene in that video where i might be uh napping on a bus ride back from the uh, resort 
I, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it was a nap. It may have been, it's somewhere between a pass out and a nap, but I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna side on, uh, I'm gonna err on the side of caution and say it was a little moment of shut eye that Nancy took advantage of and, and recorded me getting a little nap. At least I didn't, wasn't like sitting there. <laughs> I think she put some background snoring music on it, but fun video, uh, uh, Nancy. And make sure you go check out Nautical Nurse Nancy's uh, YouTube channel and her Facebook group. She's amazing. And of course, oh, I was probably talking through the uh, music. People being like, we couldn't hear you. I can't even hear you. Um, and the one, the only, Leanne Francisconi is Yay. out there. Our girl, our buddy, our pal. And uh, she does an amazing job teaming up with Nancy. She is yet to start her own channel. Um, Na uh, Leanne will be having her channel coming out soon. Meet the Franciscones. I think it's late summer, early fall. Well, it's when it's going to come out. And that's going to be amazing. So we can't wait for that. So ladies, thanks for being here. They had a wild week last week with uh, some trolls. And uh, we'll see if those folks come back. If they do, oh, I know you guys are crushing. Um, so Sharon, what do we have going on? Um, uh, what's exciting? What's on the agenda well, let's, tonight? Let's say hi to some people. Okay, so, let's say so, hi. Uh, so Sorry, I people. scrolled out a little bit. I got a little wound up. <laughs> Uh, Larry, oh, Larry Thomas, thank you. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, <laughs> happy anniversary. Uh, hold on, I think that's supposed to go. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy uh, anniversary. Thanks, Larry. Uh, um, great anniversary um, day. Um, we hope everyone is doing well. Let's go cruising. Uh, that's right, Larry. It, Larry. Let's Preach go cruising. It. You're the man. Thank you so much thank for the super so chat. Much, we Larry. appreciate it. People are saying, loving Nancy's videos. Everyone's loving Nancy. They're loving Leanne. The ladies are amazing, and they mean the world to us. So thank you. Uh, Nitro 2288, we do have group cruises planned. Check out the Facebook group, Sharon and C Cruise Crew, for that kind of information. Yeah, they're and, under, uh, um, under the events. They're listed there. And then they're also listed under group cruises on our website, SharonandC.com. There you go. Uh, Christina V said, that was funny. Jamie taking a nap on the bus. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. It was hysterical. Nancy. We'll talk about that later. Um, now, oh, Amy Franzek said, now if only John from The Ship Show would have finished his Horizon uh, vlogs. Maybe that'll be next, and that'll kind of keep us going with vlogs. Yes, until maybe we get they plan the whole thing. <laughs> maybe they planned it. Uh, so let's say hi to a few folks. We're already at seven seventeen. The night is flying by already. I'm gonna go back to let's say seven. Uh, t um, I don't know twelve. What do you think, Sharon? Okay. Seven twelve. We'll get a start. Uh, let's start at seven eleven on the name Nautical Nurse Nancy's here. What's up, <laughs> Timothy Walters? Kevin Brubaker's in the house. What's up, Kevin? Karen Griswold's here. Sherry Gia Quinto is in the house. Um, oh, you know what that reminds me? Included with that vodka that was sent, and I was reminded of this because Sherry uh, shared some moonshine with us in mm -hmm. Las Vegas. But there was also a little thing of moonshine. Oh, I can't. There was. I gotta get you to drink some of that because uh, you will be hammered. Uh, okay, that'll it's be like fun. Another another night. That'll be an another show. night. Um, <laughs> that'll be. We'll do a late night. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll do a fireside chat with that stuff. It'll be amazing. Who else do we have out there? Um, Crazy Cat Traveler, B State in 67, Christina V is here, Pia Broderick's in the house, Annette Tallman, Flamingo Pam, Cruising for Food. What's up, Wanda? Wanda, we're sorry about the Saints, but they had an amazing season. Uh, we know your pain. Dylan Siemens here, uh, Linda Stover, Lindy Lou is here. What's up, Lindy Lou? Lovely to see you tonight. How you doing, girl? Chris Goo is here, Nancy Fields is in the house, Christina V, there you are. Um, We've mentioned Nitro 2288 a couple of times. Vanessa Leah is here. Karen Griswold. Edler Maltimer. What's going on, Edler? Love to see you tonight. Uh, life is good today. What's going on, kids? Nice to see y'all. How are you doing out there? Uh, Chris Gu. Mary Ellen Dillon is here. Michelle M. Two for Disney. What's up, two for Disney? Tiffany Bistline. Uh, well, Tiffany, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, I'm not sure if we needed to know that, but well, it's good information for anyone to know anyway. <laughs> we might have to keep an eye on Tiffany. I'm not sure what, uh, what's up there. Um, Christina V. Uh, Kim Perez is here. Don Lee said, hola. What's up, Don? Jeffrey Resendez. What's going on, Jeffrey? Nice to see you. Stephen Ames is here. What's up, Stephen? Uh, who else do we have out there? Tess Almond is in the house. Jason Schumacher. Carla McClendon is here. Penner 10. Sorry I missed last week. I've been having some early days at work. Penner 10, you, sir, are excused. Thank you for being here whenever you can. We always appreciate it. Flamingo Pam is here. Uh, Mr. Means to travel. What's up, Mr. Means? Nice to see you. Uh, who else do we have? Dante I seen Slocum. That name before. What's that? Mr. Means. Mr. To means to travel. No, yeah. uh, Mr. Means to travel. You gotta have the means to travel. Uh, you never know. Sometimes it's somebody we know, and they might have switched their name, or sometimes it's just a new person. So thanks for joining us, and uh, thanks for popping in. Blaine from Really Creative Travel. If you don't know, 
Blaine is, he is like an entrepreneur. He has put together a lot of great cruising weekend uh, live streams and stuff like that with many people. He's brought a lot of the community together. So please make sure you stop by and see Blaine. He's on the hour before us on Rayleigh Creative Travel Channel. Uh, he does a lot of stuff. He's doing some RB and he does some traveling. He talks all about his experience with his lovely wife, Mallory. Um, although Blaine, can we get some more Mallory on the screen? I mean, I'm not sure if this, she just doesn't want to be on the, the video or what, but I think there's a consensus. Maybe she's we need working, some more Mallory. Maybe she's working her way up to, you know. I don't know. I know, I know it's a big step. I can step. hear her talking now behind the scenes sort of so maybe well, I mean, she's, if you're, listen, she's I mean, kind of working her way into it if, I mean, I, then it's she's going to take over not that I don't <laughs> like seeing Blaine on the video I mean you know what a handsome guy and all that but if you could just put a little Mallory in there um, that would really step things up I'm just going to throw it out there and I'm going to leave it there for you guys to discuss on your own Karen Griswold is here what's going on Karen nice to see you of course Daniel Fields thanks for the uh, head coach we appreciate it Cruz Gal is here what's up what's up um who else do we have out there? Uh, Rhonda Carney is here. What's up, Rhonda? Rhonda Carla, mentions Carla happy McClendon. birthday. Aww. Yep, you got Carla in there. We already said hi to oh, her. Okay. Mike V, hello, hello. Um, TMLF959 is here. What's up? Lovey's Fat Life is here. How you doing, brother? Nice to see you. Kimberly Vickers is here. What's up, Kimberly? Nice to see you, too. Amy Franzak. I don't want to miss anybody. Laurel Gurley, got to watch Nurse Nancy's <laughs> vlogs of the group cruise. That's right. You do got to watch that. It's amazing. Um, I don't yeah, want to miss anybody. I'm going to jump ahead. Hi, Garrett. Uh, Garrett Abelson, what's going on, brother? Mercy Rodriguez is here. What's up? Nina Crennan's here. Michelle Staten's in the house as well. Oh, I just jumped ahead in the chat. Let me bounce back a little bit here. I'm going to bounce around a little bit. If I miss you, just come back around and say hi. Anthony Simone is here. What's up, Anthony? Brian Boone's in the house. Sorry, late to the party from Michigan. Brian, you're never too late. I think I saw the ship show earlier. John, what's going on, brother? Nice to see you. Hope you're having a fun time in Naples. Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to say where you are? In <laughs> Naples, Italy. You're in Italy. <laughs> Naples, Italy. Is, that, is there a Naples, Italy? There is. Okay. <laughs> Naples, Italy is where John is if you're looking for him. Um, that's where you'll find him. He's and uh, He's quarantine. accepting. <laughs> yes. I'll give you the address out later. <laughs> It's uh, 221 uh, uh, Pepperoni Boulevard, right out there in Naples, Italy for you. Oh um, <laughs> did I just say Pepperoni Boulevard? You did. Damn. Uh, speaking of Pepperoni Boulevard, it's our anniversary, everybody. What's going on? What's well, Pepperoni Boulevard? They don't, you don't want to know. I'm not going to go there. Let's change the subject. Ryan N., oh do you think we'll be cruising in April for sure? That sounds like a good question for you, babe. Oh, I... Well, Royal Caribbean has already canceled their April cruises, mm -hmm. so I would suspect that Carnival and Norwegian will eventually do the same, but we'll see. You just have to see. Yeah. It's, dude, it's I'm, totally up in the air right now. At this yeah. point, we were for sure going to be cruising in October, <laughs> and here we are months later, and yeah. it's still every month is the same I, crapola. I think by summer there will be some ships back out there. I don't know that they're all going to be back out, but I mm. think there will be some people sailing um, in the summer, and I'm hoping like sometime in May, you know, maybe mid, even mid May to hopefully for our group cruise in late May. Yes. But, um, so I'm we'll hoping, I, I believe that right now the cruise lines are working, um, diligently trying to, to put new protocols and new cleaning measures in place. I think the next, um, couple of months are going to tell us a lot. I think, I think, well, I have been reading some stuff about there. Uh, the companies are working on a lot of HVAC systems. Uh, making sure that they are properly going to be recycled. I think one of the issues was, what do you do with all the folks in the interior cabins? How do you switch? How do you change out that air? I mean, I know there's airflow coming in, but how do you change out the air properly? How do you clean it? How do you sanitize it um, uh, and stuff like that? And there's a lot of different things. There's, uh, I, I, I know I'm saying it wrong, so bust my chops if you want, but 13? polar ionization oh. and some different things that they're doing um, with, uh, um, and what was that thing you just said? Um, that was on. You said it the third, the something Merv 13. thirteen. The was, Merv, the Merv, yes. The Virgin, Virgin Voyage. No, no, the polarized that? ionization. Well, no, the Virgin was switching over. Listen, um, I can't keep yeah. track of it all, but just know that yeah. cruise lines are doing a lot of things to try to make sure that there's clean air flowing through their cabins and their cruise ships to there's make sure. There's a couple sure cruise lines that are in the process of doing switching some 
some things over mm. with some of their ships. So. so we'll see how that works out. BJP is here. What's up? Charles Hahn in the house. Charles, what's up, brother? Nice to see you. Uh, Lady Joy. Hello, Lady Joy. How are you doing? Nice to see you today. Loving all your posts in the Vlogger Extravaganza group. Thank you for yeah. all your engagement. Yeah. That's something where we, we we need to get back into that group a little yeah. bit and start posting some more because there's a I lot know. of people and a lot of activity over yeah, there. For sure. Sue O'Connor's here. Uh, Antonio Garcia's here. What's up? Ruth Todd's in the house. I'm sure that... um. Steve is somewhere close by. What? Ruth is thinking of the Flintstones. I'm saying uh, what if she's referring to an, uh, another comment or, or what? <laughs> what? I don't know. I, I, I'm, she was just thinking of the Flintstones. She just wants to share that with everybody. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Ford, a.k.a. Kenneth Oaks, what's going on? Um, uh, Linda Kuziak is in the house. Pam Humbert Zoomian is here. What's up, Pam? Nice to see you. And Robert Rayburn is here. TCU, oh, hold on. TCU Pepito, you're back to TCU? Are you? Did you change from Texas Pepito to oh. TCU Pepito again? I thought I saw Texas in here a few minutes ago. He might be running multiple names. You never know. Maybe I just... Rutat said, Jamie, were you really snoring? If so, under similar circumstances, I would seat Steve right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't think that was that... Because I snore loud, but not that loud yeah. on that bus. I think I your that. mouth was closed, so you probably weren't snoring. Yes, I yes, think. for sure. That might have been it. I think. And if I was, um, I'll deny it till the day I die. Uh, <laughs> Pam S. is in the house. What's up, Pam? And a bunch of the usual suspects, like Margie Butcher's here. Russ Deshaun is here. What's up, Russ? Gary Welt is in the house. Julie Falker, hello, hello, says, go, pack, go. Oh, Gary um, Welt has a question for you, actually. Um, which software do you use for your videos? Uh, Gary, I'm usually using Adobe uh, Premiere Pro to edit the videos. Um, there are some people who have graduated uh, to use other software and loading it into Premiere Pro. If you watch John from the Ship Show, he does a lot of very cool things using like After Effects and then puts that in. And I've just not gotten to that point, but hopefully uh, we'll see a little bit of that coming up as we move back into cruising and start making some more cruise vlogs and cool stuff like that. Gregory Power, dude, thank Aww. you so much for that. I appreciate Happy it. Happy anniversary and birthday. I hope to meet you all in October on the Breakaway Group Cruise. Well, all dang. right. Thank you, Gregory. Gregory, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. That's very generous of you, and we sure appreciate the support We're, for us in the channel. Can't wait to meet you as well. Oh, yeah. It's going to be unbelievable. October Group Cruise, I feel like that thing is still going. There's not an issue. Yeah. I'm not worried We've about it. We've had um, a few people recently kind of book and come on board with that one coming up in this October. Yes. I think some people have had cancellations and, and then, you know, had some open time now. And so they wanted to book something later in the year. Um, a comment earlier, BJP said, had a bottle of the Santo, the white this weekend, made some margaritas. Woo! Felt like a new year the next day. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, uh, yes, that's good stuff. <laughs> That is oh good. TC Pepita said, logged in with the wrong account. Be right back. No, no, we oh. love the TCU. Don't give it up. Oh Don't give it up. Don't give it up. You're just trying to mess with us, TCU. That's oh. a crazy cat travel. Um. See the world with Chris is here. What's up? Chris, love to see you. Party on the Seas is in the house. Zenda said, oh, go back. He said something about a sun. And I started reading it. Um, oh, I posted other sunset pictures on the Facebook group. Yes, oh, Jeffrey, okay, go right. ahead. We love for you to yeah. share your sunset photos in the Facebook group. Thank I you for sunset. asking. That's very nice of you. And please... Feel free to post yeah. sunset photos and other travel-oriented pictures yeah, we in love the group. Pictures, no um, pictures of people, pictures of just scenery and yes. sunsets, Any cruising sunrises, oriented pictures all that. We love it. Travel Adventure with Eric B is in the house. What's up, Eric? Nice to see you. Vicki Avery. All right. The list goes on and on. I'm jumping ahead a little bit here so we can Bill catch up. Beach. I see Bill Leach from Smyrna. Um, oh, Papa Mozo is in the house. I'm not, <laughs> Papa Mozo said, I'm not sure if he said anything before this. He said, I need Robbie O'Malley to muscle over to customer service. <laughs> Papa Mozo, you do. I don't know oh all the God. details. And Sharon doesn't share a lot of stuff with me. But she just said that she has been battling like a mo, uh, you know, the rest of it to uh, to get you taken care of with some stuff. So I hope it all works out for you, brother, because we are definitely looking forward to seeing you on a cruise ship. At some point, I need to get, I need to have, I need to have some mozo time. I need some <laughs> mozo time. Okay, we've known of of uh, Alan uh, Ellsworth uh, for uh, quite a while now. He's been an amazing guy. He's been generous. Uh, beyond uh, compare. He's been so nice. You remember the time he sent Matthew the pizzas, the Chicago mm -hmm. pizzas? Unbelievable guy. Yeah. Great guy. Um, if you haven't done it yet, please make sure you go check out Papa Mozo's channel. He's a lovely man. He gets a little wild and crazy on occasion, but that's with the, you know, a one on one, he is a calming, peaceful, loving, caring, sweet individual. 
Um, but if you get them with the, in a different environment, you're going to get a lot of wild and wacky stuff. So depending on which Papa Mojo you want, <laughs> oh that's God. when you want to you know show um, up at different times. Oh, I but think he's we a blast. Went, um, oh, Jeffrey asked if um, oh if he can post. Yes. Pictures. Oh, yeah. I yes. think I yeah, go right that. ahead. Well, yeah, yeah. I think you I read the, se- I read, yeah, I read the second one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? All right, so I'm getting caught up a little bit. Um, um, getting caught up oh, a little. Oh, go down. I was reading something. Uh, Annette Tallman has a question for you right here. Hit that one. Um, Sharon, is it best to pay off um, off cruise for first week of May to Alaska or wait um, till they cancel? Well, um, the thing with the first, let's see, week of May... I don't know if they are going to cancel them before the final payment date. That's the problem. So you kind of have to make that decision whether you want to pay it off and wreak any benefits that they're giving you if, um, you know, if -hmm. they cancel or if you cancel it yourself ahead of time, then you, you know, can take a, um, you will get your money back or you can change it to another ship and sale date, but there may be some benefits that you don't get like you know, extra onboard credit or or such, depending on on what cruise line. Uh, Susan White, I see that you have a question. Let me find it. Happy anniversary. Mine's Wednesday. Travel question. Flying into Tucson from Dallas, end of February. Do I have to have a COVID test to fly in? To da- fly in? From da- uh, to Tucson from from Dallas. No, no. not in, in the States, no. No. Only if you're flying um, into the United States from out of the United States, I guess yes. you might say. So... Anywhere you fly um, back, and like right now, Mexico is one place that you do not need a COVID test to go to. But starting January 26th, you will need a COVID test to come back home from Mexico. Oh, my God. The um, timing of that is unbelievable. Uh, yeah. And we come home on the 25th. And when we heard uh, the, you know, the announcement, we're like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, we just just made it. So hopefully yeah. we have no flight delays or we'll be quarantining or stuck in <laughs> Mexico. But um, anyways. We'll be but, drinking a lot of quarantines. <laughs> Yeah, so as long as it's within the, within the United States, and that's another thing. That's why um, we're starting to think about what we're going to do for spring break in March, and we've been looking at a, um, a few places with a couple of them being St. Thomas or San Juan because the, the, you do not need a COVID test to come back to the U.S. from those places either because they're U.S. territory. So, um, But you need one to go there. You do need one to go there, though, but yeah. not to come home. Mm-hmm. Um but it's, I think it's easier for people to get one to go somewhere because you're in your home place and you can get one a couple days ahead oh, yeah. of things. It's a little more difficult when you're um, in a foreign in, land, in a so destination to speak. and you have to find a place to go get it, make sure that your time frame works out and then it comes back in time before your flight home. And, you know, that just is a little more stressful, I think. Yes. Kind of ruined your vacation, you know, mm-hmm. stressing about that. Now, now, Susan, if I can say this, I'll say that you're, you're flying into Tucson from Dallas. Right now, Arizona doesn't have any restrictions. There are a few states yeah, there, in the U.S. Uh, there are that do have some particular rules where if you're traveling into the area, you do need to provide something. Um, you may need to buy. There are most of them in the Northeast. I want to say like a Connecticut, um, a New York, New Jersey, maybe one or two others. Anybody know for sure, they can throw it in the chat. Yeah, like but Hawaii is still like There are a few places where you they still still where they've had major major issues and they're doing everything they can to keep people from coming in who are uh uh sick and might have the virus or whatever yeah. so but so double this, check that but right at now this time Arizona's arizona clear. dallas they're they're good that's right ruth's just thinking of the flintstones because of the anniversary song oh <laughs> thank you thank you down under cruisers is here what's up there's texas pepito what's going on brother amy elke is here amy and rick what's going on love it to see you guys um, you just talked, weren't you just chatting with Amy earlier today? Um, yeah, um, texting. You're texting with her? Yeah. Little text action? Little text back and forth? <laughs> Anything exciting to report from your text with Amy Elke? Um, well, I don't know if she wants to share anything. Amy, if you want to share anything, <laughs> you share it yourself. We don't share. We follow the HIPAA laws here on the channel. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. So we got that question from Annette. Uh, let me catch up a little bit now. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, Teague Neal, what's going on? Teague, oh, Teague Neal said that uh, their birthday was on the 16th. Teague, ah. happy birthday. Hope you had a lovely birthday. Congratulations. <laughs> Daniel Fields, hashtag October Group Cruise. Very excited about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bill Leach is here. What's going on, Bill Leach? How you doing, my friend? I remember we met Bill. What a great guy. We met him on a Horizon Group Cruise. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll be cruising with him again soon. I know, on I a know. Group cruise. Uh, Sherry Quinto can't wait to go to New York City. 
Um, there we go. We got Susan White's question. Uh, finally, we caught up to it and got it done. Let's see. What else do we have? Uh, oh, yeah. Pia Broderick said, Papa Mozo, great interview with Alito Loca. Tony was over there from Alito Loca chatting up a storm. Um, funny thing, they were both wearing Speedos. No, I'm just kidding. That did not happen. <laughs> oh that did not happen. I'm just oh teasing. I'm just teasing about that. Uh, we're open for tourists here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, said Sherry Giaquinto. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, Grazi FN, we are not anywhere. If we're not on a cruise, it's just a background. Oh, so there you have it. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Amy said, oh, I think I have to keep it quiet. Okay. Well, mom's aware. <laughs> we're not going to say anything. We haven't said anything. We're not going to say anything. Uh, Christina B said, unfortunately, I'm in Connecticut. I can't wait to pack up and go anywhere with warm weather oh, and sun. Yeah. Down Under Cruiser said, Sharon, thanks for your info. It looks like Aussies will not be leaving our, border, our borders for the best part of this year. Yeah, I know. That's... Um... That's what things are looking like. That's right. Jimmy Butler, thank you for the kind words saying happy anniversary and uh, uh, happy birthday as well. Uh, um, see so the world with Chris said our Cabo trip's affected. We had to push it to March to see how it goes. We were going to go January 29. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, Chris uh, is worried about maybe I getting back. I worry about getting the test, getting back, yeah. Well, I guess the one... The, so, here's the uh, big deal about that. So, they announced that, it, that in order to come back from, from anywhere... Uh, you have to uh, um, come back into the U.S. You have to get tested. Now, a lot of places in Mexico in particular, we talked about this last week, are having resorts offer uh, a quick rapid testing right there in the resort. A lot of resorts are certain chains or resorts. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of places have um, the mobile service. So a lot of the places will actually come out. So they do, for the mobile service, most of them do charge an extra like 20 or 30 U.S. dollars to um, come do it at your site, but there are several that offer offer the yes. local service. There you go. And I did um, I did put a list in the files tab on our cruise crew cruise crew Facebook group um, of several places for um, different places in Mexico, which like Cancun, Playa del Carmen, also Cabo, Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, um, and Dominican Republic. Where else did I put some places in the Caribbean and um, Jamaica, places that um, where all the like a lot of the testing sites are that you can go. Um, the, but better, it's, right it's, now, it'll I didn't cost, put, yeah, it'll cost a little. I, bit. I mean, I did. I have a list of even more, but I just put a few of each place just to like a reference for people if they want to look at it. You can print it out and take it with you. If you're and that's where there. in the Sharon C. Cruise Crew on and, Facebook. Yeah, in the files. In the tab. files tabs. Now, but. Okay. Um, I did not list any prices because some of them are a little more pricey right now. There are a couple in Cancun that are um, lower priced right now. And I think some of the others are going to be changing soon now that it's going to be a requirement. So I didn't want to list any prices and then have them turn around and change. And then, you know, everyone's like, oh, it didn't cost. It cost this much, not this much. You know, so yes. I just, you know, you can, there's a website for each place and a phone number, and you can always call and ask how much how much it costs. There you go, there you go. Uh, yeah, but it may cost a pretty penny. And I think, so the tricky thing is this. So it, being there, getting tested to come home, not an issue. And in most cases, it's not. But I believe everyone's well, main concern is, if you is test what if something weird happens? And you happen to test positive. And it could even be a, a false positive. It could be positive. a false positive, but can you get retested 24 or 48 hours later? And will that then be accepted after the positive test is reported and that kind of thing? And I think that's what got what that's what's got people a little wound up and a little well, bit concerned. Then you're and kind it makes of, sense. Because then you're stuck there for, you know, 14 days or so or um, you know, till you, maybe you test negative to to travel home. So, mm. you know, you have to have a place to stay or yes. You know, and just a lot more arrangements mm -hmm. to be made. You know, maybe you have to call your work, take more time off work. Yeah. yeah so it's just a, it's kind of a big get hassle. Get fired, they get pissed just, off, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think that's what most people are concerned about is what happens if they test positive, not necessarily having to. But if you test. take Linda Stover's advice, you may not have to worry about any of this. Buy your Mega Millions and Powerball jackpot, guys. Yeah. I, I, we, we went in at work and we're going to do it again this week, too. We Can I have some cash time. for work? <laughs> we didn't win, huh? We didn't win this weekend. But I, 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 feel, I feel like this I, coming I tomorrow, so. tomorrow and Wednesday and then Friday, Saturday, one oh of those is going to be the winner for us. So if you see me and I'm on TV <laughs> claiming a check, um, oh you'll know gosh. what's going on. So, uh, um, <laughs> and once I get that check and cash it, you'll probably never see us again. So it's been great guys. <laughs> and, uh, thank you so much for everything. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, Jimmy Butler said, happy anniversary and birthday, newbie. Uh, Jimmy, thank you so much for the kind words. Um, so, Sharon, we were talking about... Uh, uh, good night, Timothy. Timothy Walters, get some rest, pop some pills, have a have a <laughs> shot of uh, Patron, and uh, put your foot up and take take a load off there, brother. Uh, party on the seaside, I hope, really hope the Mardi Gras sails in May. I know Carnival's dying to get that ship sailing. Yeah, we are, are dying for them to get it sailing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Right yeah. at the end of May would be fantastic for us. Yeah, that would be a oh my God. Can you imagine that being the ship we go out on? That's right. That would be amazing. That's right. And and just and for 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 Graxi uh, FN, I just want to let you know that uh, we're we're here, but we could also be up in the air. So uh, so we're not really on a cruise. Now it's we're just, fine. It's just what it looks like. We're just we're actually. But we just like to be here so much. It's very relaxing. Although we could be here. Oh, we could. We will be there soon. Or we might be there soon. <laughs> we can talk about that in a few minutes. Um, so uh, we could be in all kinds of places. Uh, all right. So, Sharon, uh, first off, I saw a comment that said, can you mention uh, the hashtag no Zoom contest again really quick? Mm. And I think that was Pia uh, that asked that. So oh. keep in mind, guys, we are doing it. Now, we're teaming up with the ship show, although... I don't know that John has rolled it out yet. He's waiting a little more into the month. He's trying to confirm uh, if doodles would be available and some stuff like that. But regardless, uh, he's going to be there. It is official. And make sure that you guys know uh, there's been a lot of talk about fun Zoom calls that are had that may or may not be happening. And we decided we want to have them with you guys as well. So if you're interested, if you think it'd be fun to sit there on a Zoom call with us for an hour, me, Sharon, John, at least, if not John and York from uh, from the ship show, and who knows who else might pop by, uh, make sure that you find the post that has a picture that looks like this right here. I think it's um, it's probably it's, it's, pinned. it's pinned to the top of our yeah. of our uh, cruise crew uh, Facebook page. You find this post and you comment at the bottom of it uh, that you want to be in on the Zoom call, and we will be choosing three people from our channel. Three people from uh, the ship show, and we're going to have a little get-together. You can bring a beverage. You can bring a snack um, and all that. The only requirement is try to have a decent internet connection so that you're not like, eh, oh, no, <laughs> die, eh, 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 you know, so you're not doing one of those on the Zoom call, and uh, and yeah. then you can have a little so bit just, of fun. Just so just post, um, just like that you want to be entered in the contest or whatever, or um under that post, we're gonna take all the names under those posts and just kind of randomly draw three names on, um, let's see, on the 28th. So um, as we mentioned last week, next Monday night, we will not be live. Mm, make a note. We will not be live next Monday night because we'll be actually flying home m Monday evening. Um, but we will be going live in lieu of Monday night, we'll be going live on Thursday night next week. And at that time, we're gonna announce the winners of the um, no Zoom, um, call contest. So we'll yeah. um, we'll do our regular Monday night show on Thursday night, and we'll announce the winners. And then the the Zoom call will be that Saturday on the thirtieth. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm go. thinking, I don't know, maybe like um, eight or nine Eastern or something. Eight, Somewhere eight, around there. Not too late. Eastern. Not too early. Right in the right yeah, time of the evening. Probably like eight Eastern. We're or assuming something. you probably won't be going out for a Saturday night, so because uh, <laughs> so, a lot of people can't. So, so keep there you go. Your, your Saturday evening free, I guess. Um, and we'll announce it on Thursday. So you'll have a couple days notice. Pia Broderick said, wow, it's really your anniversary. Congrats. Well, yeah, what do you think <laughs> we make that? We don't just make that stuff up, Pia. We're not going to come in and tell you it's our anniversary. If it's not our anniversary. Well, tomorrow's our anniversary. So um, so there you go. Uh, Bruce Pobans, what's up? Says, when I'm 65 in October, I hope to be on the in the Caribbean. Florida port needs to open. You are so right about uh, that. Yeah. Um, uh, Gregory Powers said on your group cruise in October from New York, what hotel do you recommend to stay at the day before the cruise? Um, well, you know, most of the hotels in New York are, are pricier than a lot of places. Um, we're, mm -hmm. we're, I don't know where to really recommend. We're staying at the Embassy Suites for a few reasons. Um, it, we're, we want to be down in um, Times Square in that area for mm -hmm. kind of access, walking distance to a lot of things. Um, if we do any kind of meet up down there that evening before or anything. Um, I think we'll definitely, be, I think we can definitely say that we're going to do some kind of a meet up in the Times Square area. Yeah, we're just not uh, sure where before. yet. We'll figure out a place. It may just be out in the open and bar hop yeah. or whatever the case is. But we did, um, but we chose that hotel just because it, it was actually one of the um, lower priced ones, which um, 
I was surprised, but it was. At the but, time, it was. You know, they offer breakfast and things, which just made it convenient. And um, several other people were staying there, too. Yeah. So Listen, make the decision based on this. What's good for your budget? Yeah. There might be a little bit of fun that we had the night before the cruise, but the reality is all the fun's really going to start when we get on the ship. So if it's a pain in the butt, don't feel like you're missing out on anything huge if you're not right in the center of Times Square or anything. Go wherever it's convenient. If you, I mean, heck, you could stay by the airport and get a good price and then just get a ride into the cruise port the next morning. Yeah. So totally up to you. Yeah. Um, uh, and that's just kind of the way it is. Things are still up in the air, but we do recommend if you're going to book a room, get it soon. Yeah, they um, are because ours, they will sell they out. They are quickly. filling up, and in fact, we booked ours. What it's been a couple months ago now, I think. And when we booked ours, they were they were yes. starting to fill up. They were almost and, out. And and so, like I said, some of them, even like the Hampton Inns and things like that, um, they were over three hundred dollars, I think. Hampton Inn was five hundred bucks a night. It wasn't five hundred. It was five hundred sixty dollars a night. No, it was three sixty. It was five sixty. I swear it was five sixty. I don't know. Go I check don't it out right now. Hampton. Anyway, somebody looked at Hampton in Times Square, October twenty four uh, for um, one night. What's it cost? Yeah, but um, the Embassy Suites was just it was around two fifty ish or so. I think something like that. So it was it was one of the lower price ones. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, let's see what else do we have. Let's jump ahead a little bit because I might have something to show you guys as well. Ruth Todd said RIU uh, is offering tests and an extra 10 day stay if you're positive. Mm, you, Ruth, right. are you, that sounds good, but I don't know. I mean, does Rue want the reputation for having a bunch of people quarantined at their hotel? That is some tricky business. Uh, I would, I would not be comfortable resting my laurels on the fact that, oh, I'll go there. And if I happen to test positive, I'll have an extra 10 days. Because I've seen some people, including Paul Atta, who was quarantined and then almost had to re-quarantine after something weird happened. Mm. And it does not look like it. it is a very, very intense, serious thing. Um, so I would uh, definitely probably, double check on all those yeah. particulars. Well, it probably makes like people feel more comfortable knowing that they have a place to stay. That's the thing, you know, wondering, yeah. you know, where will I go? What will I do? You know. Having to stress over that. That's right. Uh, Seth RV has said, so if you have to be tested before you get on a plane, does that mean you need to get tested, then be locked in your hotel room until your flight? Um, no, no. The test, um, the, uh, most play it's three days before. You you have to, you can't do it sooner than that, but you just have to have your results then before you get on the plane and you have to show yes. proof. Um, sometimes you show proof at the airport, mm -hmm. like physically, like, hey, here it is. Yeah, and airlines. sometimes you have to load it into a portal for that area where it will then uh, get linked yeah. up with your name for your travel and your documents and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but they will they will deny your boarding if you do not have the negative test. There you go. D&G Explorers are here. What's going on? D&G, lovely to have you guys here. Congratulations, your bills are crushing it. And um, we will be rooting for the bills oh, next Sunday and, and. when we're at our secret disclosed location, <laughs> secret. watching or a secret undisclosed location, <laughs> watching uh, football games. We'll yeah. be very excited oh, about and. Your trophy should be here tomorrow. It is expected to be delivered tomorrow. Mm. So if it, as long as it's on time tomorrow, I will get that shipped out Wednesday before we leave. So you know, I, have... I think I failed to mention one thing. My my olives tonight. You've seen me have these before. These are the anchovy filled olives. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, I hate anchovies. They are awesome. Um. Dewey skis finally out of his meeting so he can be someplace important. Oh. Thank you, Dewey. We appreciate that very much. <laughs> um, Crazy Cat said, I did just what SAST picked for the hotel because uh, there are too many choices for NYC. Yeah. Cruising for Food is booked at the Rue Plaza Times Square. Okay. Wanda loves the Rue, doesn't yeah. she? She's a Rue kind of gal. Mary Ellen Dillon's at the M. Mm. I just spit a piece of olive out. Sorry. <laughs> Marion Dillon's at the Empire Hotel near Columbus Circle, across the street from Lincoln Center. Oh. Always reasonable. My favorite state in New York City. Very cool. Oh, nice. Um, we'd like to hear that. Doug and Nikki are here. What's going on, Doug and Nikki? Lovely to see you guys. Thanks for having us on your channel to do that fun little video. Um, we did a video uh, talking about specialty restaurants on Doug and Nikki's YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you go and do that. Uh, Steve Morales is staying at Chino's Halfway House in Queens. Very cheap. Sounds like a lovely place. I heard they have flowers on the nightstand every morning. 250 is cheap for Times Square, said Pia. What do you got? Some messages coming in, Sharon? Uh, oh. Uh, congratulations and happy birthday, Susan White. Susan made it to 61. Oh, Her birthday happy birthday, is Wednesday. Susan. 
Um, most hotels that offer breakfast are not anymore due to COVID, said Garrett Labelson. Good point. Definitely check and see what they're offering, what yeah. they're not. Yeah, that's um, true. A lot of them aren't um, having the, the buffet breakfast and stuff. Uh, yeah, so make sure that the one that you go to still is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if they're having a, um, an evening cocktail party, that's never a bad thing as well. <laughs> Marty says, stick to the blue cheese, Jamie. Oops, ignore the uh, Trivago. 237 Hampton, said Dylan Seaman. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, uh, 230. Oh, okay, so that price has went down. Um, oh my god, hold on. Did someone say hi to somebody who? I, oh my, look who it is. So Tweety is here. Ah, uh, hi, Hillary. So what's going on? Lovely <laughs> to see you. We hope you're doing well. We haven't seen you in a while. We hope you are, are enjoying yourself and being safe and taking it easy. Nice, very nice to see you. Uh, uh one Giselle's of my favorite uh, solo cruise vloggers out there. So Tweety. She um, says she just wants to get back out of sea. I hear you. Yes. So do we. You are right about that. Hi, C. Cindy is here. What's up? Uh, is it true uh, we can extend our final about... payment 45 days prior to sailing? Um, what do you uh, know about that? Is that on Carnival has been extending um, payments out some uh, lately? Yes. If that's you're referring to Carnival. I know um, Norwegian extended theirs out so to 60 days prior to sailing. Carnival has extended theirs out as well. There you go. There's a little talk of pale sausages in the uh, in the chat. Um, if you know where that came from, then you're probably part of the cool kids. And if not, then just know that Paul Ada was stuck in uh, Brisbane. It's Brisbane, <laughs> Australia, eating pale sausages. And we'll just leave it at that. And you yeah. can figure out the rest of it. Oh, another thing. Now, Carnival was also, um, you can move your ship and sail date out. Where they you keep your same booking number, you just change the ship and sail date, and then they adjust to the new current price for that sailing. Um, but that is only on cruises um, through June of 2021. So after that, they, you won't be able to do that anymore. Looks like Neil Drucker said, Jamie, I just looked it up. Hampton and Times Square. You were right, 560 a night. Well, uh, no, 360 to 400. I was right. <laughs> Dang it. I hate when you're I right. I'm going to have to hear about this the whole rest of the night. Thank you so much. I'm always right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Hampton Inn in Manhattan is showing 256. Um, uh, Steve Morales needs some. Um, I have a client who owns a hotel in Times Square if you need a connection. Oh, thank you so much, Doug and Nikki. We've been at hotels during COVID and breakfast is horrible. So, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. People saying hi to So Tweety. We haven't seen So Tweety in a while. There's a lot of excitement for you out there, So Tweety. Um, Holly Johnson said there's a boutique line of hotel of a hotel's pod. There's a location near Times Square, inexpensive, small rooms. The room for Embassy Suites that we got is small. It's yeah. like a king studio. Yeah. Like I it, think you have to climb over the bed to get to the bathroom type yeah, of place. Yeah, it's, it's not your typical Embassy Suites at all. Yes. It's Tesla Mont said on cruise day, coffee in a Danish is breakfast enough for me. There's tons yeah. of food waiting for me on the ship. That, Amen. That, that's how I feel. I just need some a little something to go with my coffee and I'm good. And I have a feeling after the night before, um, I may I may think of food the night on the morning of the cruise. Like, oh God, I don't want anything. I might be okay. October 25th, right? October 24, 24 for the big group cruise out of New York City. Um, Sharon, listen, let me let me, let me me get off the beaten path here. It's been great chatting with the folks, but we are here for a reason tonight, Sharon. You know that. We are celebrating our anniversary. <laughs> well, I think and, we're here because it's Monday night. Well, we're here because it's Monday night, but we're <laughs> celebrating our anniversary. And um, and we're doing some fun stuff. Yes, we'll be going. Uh, on Thursday, we'll be arriving at this lovely place right here. I don't know if anyone knows where it is. We have not spoken of it much, but we're down to 200. We have 230 people here. We're about an hour into the show. Sharon, are we able to disclose where we're going? Does anyone want to know where yeah. we're going? Or do you just so want we, us to keep it a secret well, and, and we you find out when we get there? We chose this place because it, it was, um, I guess, a little um, less populated. I mean, this whole area here is less populated, but right where this resort is on both sides, there's like nothing. So you're kind of sitting there with nothing. very cool. Yeah. And, but then, you know, you can take a taxi into town and things as well and, mm -hmm. and things like that. Yes. There's other things you can do, which we are thinking about doing too. Um, taking some boats and things. So, well, we'll see what we'll happens. See. So, um, uh, you're, you're so, like you're, uh, well, like, you haven't said where it is, so I. I didn't we haven't said say where it is, but I will tell you. We will tell you guys this: that um, uh, many people have been going to Cancun. Mm -hmm. That has been a hot, hot destination, and it's one of the places that is going to be really putting out a big effort um, to uh, uh, 
to make sure that people can get tested so they can get home yeah. back to the U.S. because they know that a majority of their guests are coming there from the U.S. But yeah. um, more than any place, Cancun has been very popular over the last few months. Number one, because place, of the weather. Yeah, uh, I think the weather, like you can go to the Pacific side of Mexico, like Cabo, Puerto Vallarta and stuff like that, but it's a little bit chillier. There's a this little time, less yeah. humidity uh, in the air, which causes it to be a little cooler, a little breezier, I think, coming off the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. The water's a little yeah. a little cooler and, as well. Yeah, it's mainly the water, like the beach water on the Pacific side. It's, you know, you're not going to be cold there right now, but if you're going to the beach, um, the water is usually too cold to swim. And I remember early March when we went um, down there, um, we were in Puerto Vallarta once, and um, it was, we went to go on the ocean water and it was freezing like we oh, could God. not we could not get in we yeah. ended up having to go back up to this resort by the beach the and Cristal. we hung out at their pool and and um the pool was actually i think the pool was heated mm. it was because we were in the pool but yeah it was the water was too cold in the beach yes on the beach. so we did a lot a lot of research so so tons of people have been going to cancun and some of the areas nearby there and um uh, some of our friends within the vlogging and the cruise community have gone and we wanted to go someplace there are there aren't a ton of options and Mexico at the time we decided was the easiest place to get to to get in to get out again um, um, inexpensive to get there uh, has enough people there and this is one of the keys too. has enough traffic and people and, and vacationers that resorts although they might be or they might be running at a little lower occupancy they're still running. Because what we talked about last week, when you're booking these cruises or, or you're traveling, you don't want to go someplace where there's like hardly anybody. Because that means most things are shut down. Restaurants are probably not working. Whatever they have for food is probably sliced in half. Food quality isn't there because they're not ordering food in because they don't want to wow. waste it financially and stuff like that. So a lot of a lot of things are going to factor into that. And this place we found is, is running at a pretty good clip. We found a great reviews. Um, it's not someplace we've ever seen anyone at before, uh, at least not within our community. We want to show you someplace different, and um, and it just had all. It kind of hit all the all the uh, checked all the boxes. Can I use that term? Are we allowed to say that yeah. here? Yeah, it well, checked all, all the boxes. Our boxes for what we wanted. You know, it, they have some great pizza. They just opened up a new pizza place right mm -hmm. on site. They just opened up a brand new tapenaki right on site. When we see pizza, we're um, like we're there. Yeah, we're like, okay, Matthew's good. It sounds good simple, but we have a 16, 15, going on 16-year-old um, who demands pizza. You know that. They're, um, it's close enough to town, yet it's kind of mm -hmm. out in the middle of nowhere. The yes. Wi-Fi is good, so Matthew can go to school. Allegedly, um, hopefully. Well, yeah, it's allegedly. Poor Matthew will <laughs> um, have to go to school. That's you know, it's right on the beach. Also has, get this, a lot of places in Cancun, the pools are not heated. In fact, most of them, they are not heated. Um, this place, well, this isn't actually Cancun, but anyways, this place has a heated pool. Are you sure about that? He one heated pool and it has two heated big jacuzzi hot tubs and our balcony has a heated jacuzzi on it. Well, so, uh, um, it's a jacuzzi. It's, we'll a tub, it's a hot tub. A tub <laughs> that'll a get tub. hot. Yeah. We're gonna see how it works yeah, out. Yeah, I hope it works. We're gonna see how it works out. But um so there's one thing I thought about doing now. Sharon and I had an argument, not an argument, but a discussion. Okay, an argument before the <laughs> show started tonight. And and I was oh, yeah. saying that I everyone talks about Cancun, but I wonder if people really truly know where exactly Cancun is. Like if I just showed you a map, would you be able to truly point out where Cancun is? So I have a question well, for you guys in the chat. I, well, oh, Don't we, ruin never, it. we never told them where we're going. Yeah, we're going to get to that. Don't worry about it. Oh. We'll get to well, it. Well, we're not going to actually Cancun. We're not going to Cancun, but Cancun well, is the origin um, of, of where, of where most people go into to get to this place. So um, uh, uh, so I have a question for you guys. Um, look at... <laughs> Somebody's pretty. Somebody's. Somebody knows what's going on. Uh, <laughs> um, shh, don't tell, don't Cindy. What's the matter with you? Um, so, uh, uh, um, so I'm wondering, do you guys? If I showed you guys a map, do you truly know exactly where Cancun is and what's around it, or do you just know that Cancun is in Mexico? Well, Let me I, know. I said just, I just give me a quick yes okay. or no. Just a quick yes or no. I, I told. I told Jamie. I think most people know where Cancun is because I mean. Ever, a lot of people have been going there, and it's just, I don't know, it just seems like Cancun's, um, when you talk about the Caribbean and Mexico, and people talk about It's travel, a hot spot. People just, you know, everyone's heard of Cancun, I think. 
Mm. Jamie doesn't th seem to think that everyone knew where Cancun was. I said, yeah, I think everyone does. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, if I show you a map, I don't think everybody does. So, so I'm going to show you this. So, uh, I pre I want to thank uh, Google Earth ahead of time, but I did this little deal here. So, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, oh okay, there we go. So, if you're looking at, at the map, you will see here, thank you very much. I put this together, it took me hours. Um, <laughs> But here's a little map. Right, so well, you see, well, well, you humor. see Florida coming well, down. Humor you, Jamie. you see Florida <laughs> limply hanging from the top of the thing, and in the middle you see Cuba, and to the left of Cuba is a little tip of the little like the G of Mexico, and uh, and you see Cancun right there at the tip of everything. Uh, you see Cancun, uh, Mexico. Um, now, if you get a little closer. Then you're going to notice that you have Cancun at, at the top there along the coast, and that's right where that tip was. Um, then about halfway down, you have Playa del Carmen, and if you notice, uh, right off of Playa del Carmen is a little place called Cozumel. Now, here's another thing. I don't know that everyone out there truly knows that Cozumel is actually an island of course, off of the coast, it's an island, and it's not truly part. I'm telling you right now, I bet you 40% <laughs> of the people out there didn't really know that Cozumel oh was its own island, and that the, the cruise port is actually on the inside part uh, of Cozumel, between Cozumel and Playa del Carmen. And then if you go a little farther south from there, then you come to Tulum, and, and you can see it says Tulum on the map there, and if you go a little bit farther down, um, you, uh, <laughs> yes, Steve Morales, it is the, the location of the G. Thank you. Um, if you go a little farther down from Tulum, you're going to come to Costa Maya. And if you keep going, you're going to come, you're going to get down there. You're going to get out of Mexico and get to like Belize and, and some stuff like that. And other towns that you may familiar, be familiar with. Um, now there's a reason why everybody loves Cancun. All right. If you take a look here, you'll see uh, in the bit in the center, the big white kind of area. That's the city of Cancun. It's a very large city, and um, and just a, a few minutes south of that is the Aeropuerto Internacional de Cancun. The Cancun Airport is very close, just a 15 minute drive over to the coast. Dead center on the map, you'll see a little a straight strip of land where you see the the water is very very light blue, and that is the very large coastline of Cancun, and almost that entire thing is all hotels. Yeah, that's uh, the big hotel zone. Just north of there, you see Isla Mujeres, uh, if I'm saying that right or wrong, I really don't actually, know, and that's a hot spot. We actually thought about staying there, mm. um, but it seemed, some of the food options seemed a little limited there. When yeah, we... yeah, not a lot of activity going on there. And then of course, last thing, you know, we get to the little shot. Here's a little closer look. You have Cancun, about 40 minutes south is Playa del Carmen. Um, right across from Cozumel, and then you just head down south to uh, to Mexico. So that is your geographical lesson of today. I want to see how many people said that they knew or didn't know where it was. Um, I think they knew. Let's Look see. At let's that. see. They people, everyone yes, knew. everyone say no. I had no idea. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, no, they all said um, yes, 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 yes. And no one knew where it was. Once again, I was right, Jamie. <laughs> uh, Crazy Cat said yes. Pacific Ocean is always a little bit colder. You're right about that. Um, that's my mom was at Coco Cay last January. Ocean was cold, and the pool was the coldest I've ever experienced. Really? Uh, there you go. Mike Jan Jackson's asking, how is Naomi to not come to We hope she's doing well. Yeah. Uh, Ruth would love a return to Cancun. Um, so when is the final payment for the October group cruise at Michelle M? Real quick. Ah, uh, June. June, there you go. June 26th, I believe. Yes. I Charles Han loved Cozumel. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Let me get to the answer to the question here. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Flamingo Pam said it's in the Yucatan Penin Peninsula. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm good with geography. Uh, oh, thank you, D&G, for saying to hit the thumbs up. We appreciate that. Uh, Cancun, Mexico is Eastern. Yes, towards Playa del Carmen. I knew it. Oh, I see Cindy. She made it, yes. <laughs> uh, the Occidental. Oh, fo folks are talking about some Cancun spots. Yes, 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 yes. Nope. Thank you, Crazy Cat Traveler. I bet more people uh, are, just, are just saying they didn't know. Um, uh, Marilyn Dillon said just what I was thinking, Cindy. Uh, uh, a few fo other folks are saying yes. Cancun's in Mexico. No more. Nikki may know, though, said Doug and Nikki. See that? Even big time travelers like Doug and Nikki. Um, it's on the east side, said Punter 10. Almost due west of Cuba, said uh, Chris. Yes, yes. Um, as long as the plane knows where it is, I'm happy, said Diggy <laughs> Ski. You're right. It's in Quinta Roo, said Steve Morales. In Mexico, right? Yes, Richard, you're right about that. Andrew Sweets, thank you so much for the super oh, chat, bro. You, we appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you. Cancun is due south of Alabama and west of Cuba. Um, so, uh, so Tweety, 
like that I said Florida's limply hanging there. Thank you so much, oh for catching that joke. It's good to have you back, girl. We miss the hell out of you. Um, my favorite island is just east of Cancun. Isla Majera said Mary Ellen, Mary, Mary Ellen Dillon. Um, oh, Sherry Giaquinto is asking Tulum. Are we going to Tulum? Um, of we course, thought about it. Mary Ellen said, of course it's an island, Jamie. I knew Cosmo was an island. Got to do the port excursion research. Mm -hmm. Went to Cosmo on the first cruise. Didn't know it was an island until tonight. Thanks. Thank you, Diane Carlson. We appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, BJP said, are you going to Isla Majera? No, we're not going to no. Isla Majera, so I'm uh, sorry. He might have said that before we mentioned. Yeah, we yeah. thought about it, but um, when we looked at some of the resorts there, the, the food options were very limited. A lot of, they just didn't have a lot going on. Yes, there. and that's where that's where the research and, kind of brought us to. And, and it's not that we want a lot going on. We want to relax, but we also need some things and foods and just different things that our son will eat. So it's kind of a... Um, and we want to make sure the Wi-Fi was good as well. Thank you, Christina V. Christina V said Jamie would make a good teacher. Mm. Christina, thanks. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you probably would. I've often thought about doing that, but apparently they have rules that I cannot have a a dirty <laughs> martini in class. Right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, maybe it depends wow. on what, oh, yeah. what I want to teach. Uh, mujeres, said Margie Butcher. Mujeres. Yeah. Uh, mujeres. There you go. Esa Mujeres. Uh, I was saying that the whole time. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Charles Holland stayed at the Aberastar Resort. Uh, yes, I could tell you where. Yes, said Jennifer. Uh, McCandless, what's up, Jennifer? Nice to see you. So a lot of people are saying, is there a test, said Dylan Seaman. There could <laughs> there be. A, test. Uh, a lot of people are saying they knew, but I'm sure plenty of you didn't know. So just submit it and, and help me be right to Sharon, please. Yeah, Andrew yeah. Sweez, another. Thank you so much, bro. We uh, appreciate that. Uh, no geography quizzes later, Danella. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> I can't go anywhere without knowing on the map where it is geographically. So let's see the world. Uh, hi, Alfred. I see Alfred there. Hold on. Where? Alfred Inglesy. Where is he at? He said, yes, Sharon is right. Alfred, were you here earlier? <laughs> were, you, were you in the room earlier when we were giving you all the love in the world? If you weren't, I just got to say thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Alfred, I, uh, you are amazing. Join my apple ice, Alfred, ice, apple, ice wine. You're the man. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, very, very nice of you, dude. You're amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Leanne said you'd make a great teacher, Jamie. Thank you. Wow. wow. Coming from Leanne Francisconi, that is high, high praise. Maybe you need a new career. Olive classes in <laughs> session. <laughs> Maybe college professor. Thanks, Gary. Um, Penner 10, it, you're, it's okay if you have to leave. You got to get up at 4 Eastern oh, time. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm due FCC from Royal. Can that beautiful Sharon handle my new booking with that credit? Do I need to go through RCCL? Um, just give me a call. Yes. I'll, I'll help you out. Yes, there you go. A call or an uh, email or what? Well, you can email me. Email me and then I'll touch base with you. Wait, touch base with you through a phone call and get um, all the information. Keep in mind Keep for it, those yeah. of you. I am leaving on um, Thursday morning. Yes. So try to get a hold of me tomorrow. Um, I'll be available most of Wednesday as well. Mm -hmm. But after that, I won't be available again until Tuesday. So. Wednesday night into whenever. Yeah, I will. I I will be able to see my emails and anything important I'll respond to. But if it's just um, something that's, that can wait till Tuesday, then I'll um, respond when I return. There you go. Um, but yeah, so uh, so Sharon, what what's the place? Uh, Hi, see, Cindy was the one that got it. Figures yeah, that she, she would did. know. She would know because she's in tune with the with those. Well, uh, I think they, they just recently went to Cancun and they stayed at um, the Royal Sands, I believe, and it was one of the. Um, there's four hotels in the the Royal um, mm -hmm. brand there, and this is one of them. So this is the Royal Hacienda in Playa del Carmen. That's right. And That's where we will be. The Royal Haciendas. Uh, and we were last week. We were accused by some of not disclosing the location well, we were because still, we didn't want anyone else to show up there. How dare you? That is an outrage, uh, and we you know were, who wait, you are. We actually just booked this within the last week officially. We were waiting to hear back from um, the Royal Hacienda and also another place, Moon Palace, um, the Grand at Moon Palace. So um, we heard back from this one first. Unfortunately, we did hear back from the other one, and but it was a day too late. So. Oh, hey. We're staying at the Royal Hacienda. Their loss is our gain. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so we're super excited to go down there, and we'll be flying there. Um, we'll, we'll be heading out on Thursday, mm -hmm. and we'll be coming back, and we'll be ready to rock. We'll get back late Monday and maybe make a video uh, for Tuesday if we get lucky and have the time yeah. and put out some vlogs and share our experiences and show you guys around and, 
and we're excited to be there and head into town a little bit into Playa del Carmen and show you what's going on there yeah, as well. Yeah, Matthew's already picked out a um, great pizza place in town mm -hmm. he's going to check out. Yes. Um, also, we are considering taking the ferry over to Cosimo one day. We're mm -hmm. going to see how that happens. That's going to be a tough one. Because we have been reading, um, we actually were planning to do it, and then we've been reading some a few negative things about it, so we may possibly change our mind. Um, the ferries used to run a lot more frequently. Now they're only running a few times a day. They're packing a lot of people on there. A lot of people aren't wearing masks, and they say it's kind of a breeding ground for COVID right now on the ferries. Well, it's, so and there's a lot of reports of like couple long hour waits lines, and some crazy um, stuff. So, you, but if anyone is ever planning on doing doing that, make sure you get your tickets um, online ahead of time because otherwise you have to wait in that line along with another couple hour line to get on the ferry. Yes. So, so we'll see how that goes. We'll ch probably kind of check out. Um, the whole situation when we get there and if it doesn't look um if, it, if we're going to spend half the day in line and um you know like that we we probably won't do that this time and it'll be nice because um you know i mean tomorrow's our anniversary so we're kind of celebrating that while we're there um i'll be turning 28 uh, my birthday will be on sunday so that's super cool and i'm yeah. excited about that as well uh sharon says we're going to go to a very nice restaurant and have a lovely meal so I can't wait for that. I'm super yeah. excited. And um, and then once we get back, we have Matthew's birthday to celebrate. So it's going to be an action-packed 10 days coming up for us soon. Yeah. Hopefully the weather agrees with us. It says it's supposed to be nice in the mid-80s. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. So yeah. there you have it. I just want to get some sun, relax. And um, I yeah, I feel like I really need sun. But the wild thing, again, was when we heard that that uh, the U.S. was requiring requiring COVID tests to get back in, but it's starting on the 26th, Yeah. and luckily we're coming And it's funny because we almost thought about staying an extra day, um, but we just didn't want Matthew to miss another day of school. So yes. um, we decided to come. So we hope that our plane is on time. There's no issues that because um, we are flying back in the late afternoon into the evening. So let's let's hope nothing happens we'll to see. delay us. We will see. We'll see. Sharon is always right. She makes my travel reservation for me. Thanks, CMPJ519. Uh, <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Eddie Moonshine, what's going on, brother? Said, see you in December on the ship. That is fantastic. Um, uh, it'll probably... Uh, um, okay, thank you so much to Pen or 10. It'll wait till you get back. I'm still waiting on the credit. Um, uh, oh, Alfred said, yes, I was here the whole time. Uh, uh, you're the man. Thanks, Alfred. We yeah, appreciate oh, it. Oh, Pen or 10, yeah. Royal, I think he said Royal. Royal takes a while with their credits, their, their refunds. Yes. Um, 45 days, probably. I Andrew Sweet said, uh, I still have to book my 429. I have to book Carnival in the future and close to, uh, uh, I think maybe close to Christmas, maybe is what he's saying, to TWXAS. Can you help me, Sharon? Uh, guys, yeah, Sharon can definitely, in almost all cases, uh, Sharon can help you or point in the right direction. Sharon at C at gmail.com. Shoot her an email. If she can't physically help you with the booking for any crazy reason, which I don't see why she couldn't, I then she can definitely tell you what tell to do. Yeah, how to, how to do it, yeah. And give you a tip, yes. Uh, BJP said the beach gave it away. Uh -huh. uh, last year, making apple ice wine. Oh, my oh. gosh. We better contact you and stock up then. Uh -huh. I have a friend that works at the Grand Moon Palace in Lindy Lou. That's very cool. Oh, we stayed nice. at the Moon Palace when her daughter got married to Larry Thomas. Mm -hmm. What's the likelihood of Carnival doing a $50 deposit again anytime soon? Um, um, probably likely. It is a wave season now, and they'll be doing a lot of $50 deposits, I think. Um, right now, they are having a $50 deposit, but it's only for the two to five day sailings. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones are 99 I believe, except for the new ships are 149 Ruth Todd says Steve wants to go to Playa del Carmen because his mom's name was Carmen. Oh. Well, it's good. Her, <laughs> good thing her name wasn't Brooklyn. <laughs> ba -doom boom. Thank oh you. Thank God. you. The palace is an awesome place at Lindy Lou. We're going to another hotspot in Playa del Carmen in February. Stay tuned at High Seas Cindy. We'll be checking that out and seeing where you guys end up coming to you with drinks in a uh, in a pool soon. Um, <laughs> how about a Super Bowl meetup in Arizona, said Garrett? Garrett, I'm not sure. Garrett, I have to tell you honestly, I might actually be working Super Bowl Sunday. Quite often when my team doesn't make it, I volunteer to work because I get out by like 4.30 or anyway or 4 o'clock on a Sunday. Um and that way, all my other peeps can have the time off. And uh, so that might be happening. I don't, I, listen, you can arrange anything you want, but I don't think we're going to be putting together an SAST Super Bowl get together, as fun as it might be. Um, I have 700 cruise credits, had balcony, but everything is doubling, um, said yeah. Andrew Sweeze. So I know. That's, things are crazy. Um, and I think it's going to get worse with the prices. And I've kind of said that 
months ago that once we, the closer we get to cruising and into 2021, um, cruises are the prices are going to jump up and they're going to try to recoup some of that money and they know people will pay it and book it because people are dying to cruise so eventually people will be like i'm just <laughs> going to pay it and go um <laughs> dylan Seaman said that new year's eve tequila is still keeping you young at 28 thank you dylan. appreciate <laughs> that happy 28th plus 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 birthday even if you kept it a secret because you didn't want anyone joining you deserve a private vacation at least once a year uh. FYI, i just booked my cancun flight and room in playa del carmen <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, Tess. We can't wait go. to see you there. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. We just wanted. Um, we really didn't know where we were staying because we were waiting to hear back, like we said, from a couple of places. And yes. we did not. It want, really finalized about we less than two weeks want ago. Want to tell someone we were going somewhere um, and staying at any particular place until we knew for sure because we didn't want someone to book it either, and then us not be there because yeah because then we feel like crap yeah is matthew getting a car for his birthday said susan white <laughs> negative no, ghost rider not, not yet not this year maybe next year or the year after and but. just you know matthew will be getting my truck and i'll be getting a new truck no. that's what we we've no. already agreed on so sharon listen let me jump ahead a little bit uh do you get a beach uh fr did you get a beachfront room at the resorts at high sea cindy, uh, cindy we I, we did not go for the beachfront room we have the we have a view we went for the, the we went for the ocean view yeah uh, and we uh, have room. we there's a reason for that the the location <laughs> of um, <laughs> it looked from a lot of research too it looked like the beachfront facing out um got a lot more wind than the others and we started thinking about um videos um all the wind and things like that anyways we yeah we Took a lot of things. I like to see the hub of, of what's going on. So we decided not to go with it. Although um, it was we, it was our first thought to go with it, though. But we Leisha, I, I might have a bone to pick with somebody. Laisha L. Christian said that my my fiance overheard you, Jamie, when I just said, you know, whenever the Chargers are not in the Super Bowl, I work on on Super Bowl Sunday. Mm -hmm. She said my fiance overheard you, Jamie, and said you must work every Super Bowl Sunday. Then come on. <laughs> That is an outrage, Alicia. <laughs> How dare he? You tell oh that fiance. God. That is funny. <laughs> don't talk like that. What's the matter with you? In 1994, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. Son of a gun. Can I cannot get a break. Oh, Texas Pepito is back. I cannot get a break. <laughs> um, unbelievable. So, listen, Sharon, I put, um, you know, we're celebrating our anniversary tomorrow. And, and everyone knows out there how much I love you. I mean, you are my everything. Um, the, the luckiest day in the world was the day that I met you. And, and the second luckiest day was the day that you said you would marry me. So thank Aww. you for that. I love you. And, um, <laughs> and if anyone doubts that we are, uh, are a match made in heaven, the, the perfect oh couple, um, you may have seen some of this clip before if you've been around <laughs> for a while, but I thought it deserved to be shown again because it was just that, that good. Um, but guys, sometimes we like to take a little travel back in time. This is going back maybe about five months or so, six months back. Um, again, if you're a regular, you've seen it. If you're anywhere new or not a regular, you haven't. But um, hold on tight. Uh, uh, buckle up, guys, because it's time to take a little ride in the time machine. Let's go back to a time where Sharon and I proved just why we are an amazing couple. Are you ready? <laughs> Check it out. The Love and Marriage Show, featuring Tony and Jenny from Lalita Loca, Jamie and Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel, and John and Kelly from The Ship Show, with your host, Doodles McShip Show. Let's go to Sharon at Sea. Uh, Sharon. Who's most likely to get into a fight with a stranger? Like that. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. But the answer is correct. Sharon! Wow! Oh, oh, nice job. Nice well job. Done. Okay, we are going to Sharon now. Sharon, when you wake up in the morning, you're most likely to find Jamie's blank on your blank. He has this um, blanket on his side of the bed that he always sleeps with over him. And I don't like it because oh, it's, I'm like allergic it's to it or something. I hate it. And when I every time every time I wake up, it's on my side of the bed on me, and I'm like, ah, get this thing off. <laughs> so uh, it's you know, that blanket, that charger's blanket that you always have on your side of the bed. Whenever I wake up, it's on my side of the bed, on me. 
Well, the first thing I thought of, the first answer I thought of was I just like to put my hand in hers to show how much I love her. Mm. But then I thought about the actual answer. And the actual answer is (laughs) my charger blanket on her side. Yay! (laughs) Nice job. Oh my God. Nice job. Yes. Jamie, we asked your wife between the two of you. Who would be more likely to intentionally burn down the house if left home alone? I will tell you that this answer is very easy. And the reason I know that is because Matthew will approximately uh, eat four pizzas uh, per week. Sharon Sharon will cook roughly nine. And the other five uh, usually end up burnt to a crisp because she forgets them in the oven. Oh, that's um, so uh, the answer would be that's great. Sharon definitely would burn the joint down. Oh, my gosh. Me. All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon, Love and Marriage Champions, let's give them some virtual love, y'all. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. That was, first off, it was amazing having fun with those guys, Uh, Tony and Jenny, John and Kelly. Of course, Doodles Mix Ship Show, York was the host with the most, and that was an amazing, amazing time. Uh, Ruth Todd, yes, I did miss the answer to Sharon's favorite ship, but it was, it was, it was a lot of pressure. Um, So, what are you going to do? Pia Broderick said I look like Mick Foley. How dare you, Pia? I thought we were friends. Um, oh but how about that last clip? I mean, that last clip was amazing. Oh the two God. of us, just a couple of kids uh, getting hitched. Uh, oh that was God. unbelievable. Um, Sharon, that was, those are the memories. You still remember that night, don't you? Oh, I do. I oh, do. my gosh. It was fantastic. We eloped to Vegas. It was so good. It was so nice. And, and, and we've had a call. People said, we love the clip at the end of that video. Can we see a little more of that, Jamie? And... Um, um, uh, you know, the clip of the two of us just young, getting hits, getting married. Oh, so, and, yeah. and the people want it. I think the yeah. people want to see more. So I just yeah. thought, guys, listen, I, this from, my, from me to you, there's more to that. Oh, so just God. enjoy this if oh, you're interested. Oh, this is horrible. Just take a, take a minute and check this out. <laughs> Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to join James and Sharon in Hawaii. We looked a little stiff right there, didn't we? Please repeat. With this ring. With this ring. I, the way. <laughs> Your bangs are amazing, love, babe. <laughs> and worldly goods. And worldly goods. Oh, jeez. I, the, in Dow. I, the, in Dow. And Sharon, while placing the ring on your groom's finger. Please repeat. I accept the ring. And in return, and in return, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. I also give you, I also give you all of my love forevermore. If you guys could see the dirty looks that Sharon's giving me right now, <laughs> you'd be blown away by it. By the power which is about to me by the great state of Nevada. Look at that. <laughs> we were both frightened to death right here. <laughs> I know, it looked like it. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it was, there it was. And then, of course, we, we're we always aware when there's a camera on. See that? There we go. We know when there's a camera. Oh my God, I'm sorry to show that to you. I hope you weren't bored out of your mind. Um, Amy Franz, I said Sharon was doing Morse code with her eyes, I don't... saying, "Please get me out of here." Oh my god! Plain uh, <laughs> oh thinking, thinking that I just want to go knock it out. <laughs> we did. We both looked so scared. Oh. Uh, it was. Uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. Literally in the other room, 
is the the game is wrapping up the tuck rule game uh <laughs> Patriots versus the Raiders. Oh uh, Jamie. And I can't wait to get out Steve of there. Steve said Jamie had hair. <laughs> Marty said Sharon hasn't changed. Jamie, what the hell? Hey, listen. Richard Zollner said, where's the Elvis impersonator? All I know is that if we walked out that door that opened up, I could have walked right across the hallway, right into the Howard Johnson's and ordered a clam boat platter, <laughs> extra French fries, oh my gosh. and tartar sauce. Um, that was in um, 2002. Yes, it was. Oh, you had to think about that a little, huh? Nancy said, nothing wrong with this. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if cute is the word. Uh, Dylan said, yeah, Dylan, I used, yes, this, all this gray, it, it wasn't there when we met. It all came, it was uh, P.S., I call it, post-Sharon. <laughs> so Sharon caused all that oh stuff. Um, <laughs> we were, I was, listen, I was frightened out of my mind. I was like, what the hell is happening? We're just sitting there watching this guy, and I'm like, is this, is this, is this real? Is this yeah. really happening right now? It was just, it was just it, it was just weird in Vegas. It was just like a weird, the whole mm -hmm. wedding thing there was just weird. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hashtag tears. So sweet, but yes, you look terrified. So it doesn't want. <laughs> Was this an arranged marriage where you met at the altar? Is a crazy cat? <laughs> yes, off to watch football right after the wedding. You're right about that. Yeah, Sharon's saying, oh, what the heck am I doing? We got married in Vegas a week before y'all. Uh, you uh, know this. Dan yep, Nancy. Um, yeah, that was certain, that was just a whim. I'm, I mean, that was, I mean, we were just like, let's go do it. Yeah. We were on the bubble. We were having a conversation about it. Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. And then we just went and did it. So, yeah. uh, Party on the Sea said, my favorite time machine moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at all that hair Jamie had. Joseph Johnson. There's people are coming out who haven't even commented the entire night. And they're amazed at the amount of hair that there was. Oh, thank you, Steven. So sweet. Love all the hair Jamie had. Uh, yes, I was rocking a nice hairdo. Um, Nancy Fields got married in 1999 at the Little Chapel of Flowers in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there you go. And Daniel followed it right up. There you go. Hashtag post Jamie said Andrew Sweet. <laughs> Sharon has aged better. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> uh, we were married in Vegas in 1986. Had no video, just audio, but, uh, uh, uh but a small, uh, we are the best at, uh, uh high C Cindy. <laughs> Jamie, have you ever thought about growing your hair out? I thought about it, but be, there's a, there's a period be key, between getting from this to what it was is it's damaging. It's just not something anyone wants to see. <laughs> Jamie married way up. Uh, lots of people married in Vegas. Yeah, I think there were. It's easy to do. Um, there you have it. Um, so that's the deal. So I just wanted to share that with you, Sharon, and say those were some of the those were the memories of a lifetime. Thank you for being there with me during that <laughs> wedding. It meant oh, a lot. Oh, without you, oh, I couldn't have done it. That's right. <laughs> I couldn't. Have, I could not have done the wedding without you. Um, all right, so uh, so what else do we have? Anything else? Listen, I know it's we, it's an hour and a half. I know it's a little short than usual, but we might have a few things that we have to get going. Mm -hmm. I got to put together. Some, I got to make sure some batteries are charged. I got to make sure some memory uh, um, cards are, are cleared up. Um, Sharon, what do you have to do? Pack. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Work a little bit. Do a little work. Um, okay, there's probably about a dozen emails that have um, come in since we started the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. And just um, just a few things around the house um, we have to do. Hold on, Pia Broderick. What the hell? Pia said, "Wink it." She goes, "Sharon, wink if you regret it." Just kidding. <laughs> Pia, that's outrageous. You know what? I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. People always busted my chops. <laughs> Get on that plane, guys. Have a great time. Thank you, Kevin uh, Baker. Why wasn't I invited to Stephen Ames? Sorry. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> My mind's in the gutter with the things they have to do to get the batteries charged. Oh, come on. Uh, Daniel said, Jamie, do you reformat? Um, no, but I clear them all out, and they, they kind of reformat on their own, so it's all good to go. Um, Elvis walked uh, my wife and I down the aisle, said, Andrew Sweet, that is awesome. Wow. Does Jamie help with pa packing? Um, no, he not really. Yes. I, well, I usually pack because um, I make everything fit in the suitcase as well. Um, yeah. He would, he, if he was to pack his own things, he would, he throws everything out and then he tries to fit it all in and it just doesn't work. Please. It, it's worked. No. I work. And, it works. And he over, he overpacks. Way it overpacks. works like it's work. You way overpack. I don't overpack. You overpack. Yeah. And his way of packing is he'll, he'll go to his drawer or something. He'll just like grab like a, a stack of just shirts. He'll just grab a stack, 
throw it on the bed, grab a stack of the throw it on the bed, and then he just tries to throw it all in like, and um, I'm like it's a mess. Kevin, we're leaving on, <laughs> we're leaving on Thursday, so we'll get in there uh, mid afternoon on Thursday, and then we'll be flying home on Monday, the twenty fifth, right before uh, the twenty sixth, which is where you have to have a, a test to get back into the U.S. We're excited. Of course, Matthew will be there as well. He'll be tasting pizza along the way. I get, I can almost guarantee you a minimum of two pizza reviews on this ship. A minimum of two. Marty said, Debbie doesn't let me near the packing. Uh, <laughs> B. Stain said, vlogger question. Why does just about every vlogger seem to use digital cameras for video instead of a camcorder? Um, B. Stain, I will tell you why. I used to, We used to use uh, a camcorder. In the beginning, um, we used a camcorder pretty regularly. Uh for a lot of the videos that you see us make. But the issue is that the cam, I don't know, the, the quality you get from the camcorder is just not the same as the digital camera. You don't have the controls in the camcorder to uh, adjust your aperture and allow more light in. You need like a perfect, like some video that we used to make with the camcorder was beautiful. Like it mean like, you know, HD quality, the whole nine yards. But some of it was very grainy. Anytime we went into the dining room or a place that didn't have a lot of natural sunlight, we lost a lot of the quality because, uh, because of it. Now I'm sure you could probably get some really high-end camcorders that might do it. But for us, uh, the, the big change in the quality of our videos was when we switched over to a digital camera. Um, it's a little smaller, it's a little lighter. You can put it on the tripod. Uh, it's easy to, to, to face it you know, towards you, uh, easy to mount the mic to it and all that kind of stuff. So a number of reasons why, but overall just quality is easier to obtain um, with the digital camera versus uh, the camcorder. Hopefully I answered that question uh, and I wasn't too dragged out. Jim Benberg said, do you need a ride to the airport? Jim, that is very uh, nice of you. Thank you so much, uh, brother. Thank you, Jim. Very nice of you. Um, we will, we're, it's, we're cool. We're going to be driving there. We'll leave the car in the economy parking and we're good to go. Yeah, that was sweet. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Uh, thank you, Pia. We appreciate that. Um, Pia's trying to make up for all the crushing comments you made about <laughs> me. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep now, Pia. Thanks very much. Um, I overpack things and never use, and of course, forget to pack what I do need, said Christina V. <laughs> Story of my life. Kevin Perez will be visiting St. Augustine, Florida this weekend. Uh, not as warm as Mexico, but it'll work. Oh, it'll yeah. definitely work. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. And then as soon as we get back from this trip, we will be actively putting together um, spring break. There are some options that we're already looking at, yeah. and um, we're going to see how that pans out. Yeah, we will be um, heading more Caribbean for spring break. Yes. Um so we'll see. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, thanks again, Jim. And you are welcome, B State in 67. Uh, yeah, we're thinking Caribbean, so we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And hopefully we can have a good time. And we will definitely try to do a live, at least one live, um, uh, from, uh, from Mexico at some point. So we shall see how that goes. Well, we'll test the internet and see what happens. The nice, <laughs> and the nice thing about Mexico is the phones work down there. You know, you, yeah. can, you can use local... Uh, phone service. You don't have to rely on Wi-Fi the entire time, so that's kind of cool as well. Uh, Kim Root Baker's buying his house in St. Thomas when he wins the big lottery. Uh, Stephen Ames said, do you need me to hold the bags for you? Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, so are you live streaming next week from Mexico? So, Nancy, on Monday night, first off, for the first time in a long time, I just want to make an official announcement. Nautical Nurse Nancy, Leanne Francisconi, You've got Monday night off. <laughs> You're off Monday nights. You're free and clear Monday nights. We'll be flying home and landing. I don't know when we'll, we'll be landing right around now or something like that, mm -hmm. probably on Monday. So, uh, um, but we are going to try. Uh, our plan is to go live on Thursday night of next week. Um, yeah. I want to make sure we don't step on any toes. It's been yeah, no, pretty not, open not for a while. this week, but the following week. Yes. <laughs> and um, and then we're going to go ahead. And at that time, we'll be announcing our, our three people that were, have been randomly chosen for the Zoom call, for the hashtag no Zoom call. And, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the trip as well. And we'll go over that. Uh, we're going to see if we can put a little video out or whatever. And uh, we'll go from there. Leanne says, what will I do with myself? Uh, Leanne, that's easy. Make some cutlets. Uh, <laughs> Boom. Piece of cake. I got you there. Uh, um, uh, but we will do, um, we'll probably do at least one live stream, like a YouTube live stream from Mexico, maybe a little Facebook live somewhere along the line, and, uh, and see what happens. Yeah. Tess Alman said, Leanne, you can Zoom me if you get bored. <laughs> Tess, that's a great idea, but Leanne doesn't know how to work the Zoom. She only knows how to answer the call. Um, <laughs> 
Oh zoom, God. zoom, zoom to knock on our Nancy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, you can always watch my show on this Monday night at 8 Eastern. I might do a longer live if anyone wants to be there. Said Brill. See, Blaine. Thank uh, you, Blaine. Blaine's hey, going to uh, fill in and do a long. He's going to do an extended live to cover so the folks that usually watch uh, Sharon and C. Chapel can go over and check out Blaine and have a good go. time. Thank you. Thank you. What a guy. What a guy. Um, Sharon, is that it? Did we cover everything tonight? Uh, I think. I think so. Okay, one last cheers. Let me wrap up my drink here. Uh, Alfred and Gizby, again, these drinks brought to you by you. Cheers. Thanks, dude. Thank you, Alfred. Mm. Ah. Mm. Woo! Man, this that is stuff really is not... It, they're not kidding. That has got a little kick to it. That has got a kick. Um, You can still be here next Monday to have some voiceovers and a cardboard cutout. Ah. Um, so there you are. Tesla Ma said, oh, so just you and Nancy? I see how you are, Leanne Francisconi. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Uh, the Charter is next year. Don't forget the thumbs up. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, you guys have been great tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for helping to celebrate our um, special moments of the year. It means that much more to us being able to celebrate them with you guys. So you're awesome for that. Thank you. Thank you. Pig Jean Snuggles, you just got here. You just got here. Uh. We're not in a resort tonight. Hold on. Do you want, we can pretend we are. Big Jean Snuggles will be at this resort next week. If you can name that resort, you can come down and visit us and say hi. Here, we get, let's give you one better look at it. There you go. Sharon, slide it over. That's right. Right in the middle of nowhere. Nice little resort. It's got a couple pools. Uh, you can get on the ocean. It's got a couple yes. restaurants in there. I think they have six pools. And we'll just, well, there's two kids' pools, two, yeah. two lap pools, swimming lap pools, and two main pools. Yeah. As long as I have a pool chair and a bar and uh, some food, I am a... Pretty happy camper. Yeah. Pretty happy camper. So uh, that's where we'll be, Big G and Snuggles. So check us out. Uh, oh, I learned the professor's going to teach a cocktail class in Olives for extra credit, said Dylan Seaman. Oh. oh, we didn't even do that. We didn't do, um, what have we learned tonight? Oh, we didn't. Okay, two minutes. What have we learned tonight? Go put it in the <laughs> chat if you want to, and we'll just wrap it up here. We can't leave without our normal thing. <laughs> thank you, Kathy Zoto. We appreciate that. Thank you for all the well wishes, the happy anniversaries, uh, the happy everyone. birthdays, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks again for anyone that sent something to Matthew. Uh, a couple of you have. You guys are amazing. Yeah. The, he gets such a kick. He you does. know, he doesn't he get gets that a, involved with the channel, but he, he really gets a, a kick out of that stuff. He gets a smile on his face. He gets a, it's crazy. a smile. So, yeah. Uh, be Satan, thank you. Daniel Fields, thank you to you and Nancy. I uh, love you guys. Thanks a lot for being here. Um, thank you, Kathy. Uh, Christina V, thank you so much. Uh, we will we'll party hard. Beth and Doug Ellinger. Doug and Beth are here. Better late than never. That's okay, uh, Doug. Um, hi, Beth and Doug. Yeah, you guys are fine. And uh, we will talk to you soon. You just have to watch the replay so you can find out the secret spot that we're going to in Mexico. <laughs> uh, thank you, Michelle M. I learned geography tonight, said Amy Condrath. I learned that I don't want to be scared if I ever get married again, said Dylan Seaman. <laughs> you don't have to be that scared. We were just, I don't know, it was just weird. I think it was weird, like... Like, where the hell? Like, when we pulled up to that place, we were like, what the hell is this? Well, we had never been to that chapel before no, or anything. We, and it wasn't what we thought it was going to be and, and the whole process. And, yeah. And it, it was just very weird and the whole thing. There you go. Very odd. Very <laughs> odd. Um, uh, let's see. What else do we have? Great live stream as always. Thank you, Fordman. Uh, we appreciate it. I learned Matthew's one day older than my granddaughter. I learned I have to look into airfare soon. Kevin Brubaker, you're right. I learned that Sharon never ages. Um, <laughs> hashtag Jamie short term parking says Steve Morales. Tess Alman, thank you so much. Annette Tallman, thank you. Amy Condrath, uh, thank you so much. I learned next Monday is a ladies' night, minus Sharon, because she'll be knocking it out in uh, Playa del Carmen. Oh my gosh. Uh, there may not be a lot of knocking out in Playa del Carmen, but um, hopefully just a lot of relaxing. <laughs> I learned to always check what account to log into, said Texas um, Pepito. Uh, I learned they looked like deer in the headlights when they got married. Have a great trip. <laughs> thank you, Neil. Thank you, Jennifer McCandless. Sonia H., thank you. Charles Hahn, I learned that Jamie needs to change his batteries for his anniversary. <laughs> I learned the secret location that Sharon and Jamie are going to and that Jamie snores loudly on bus trips. Uh, Nancy, yeah. please tell people you 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 dubbed in that snoring sound. That was not me. I, I will um, verify he does snore loud. Uh, that I do. I learned that Jamie had great hair. Sorry, I love John Bon Jovi. Back in the, well, PA, you should have seen the hair back in the day. Oh, rocked it. The chicks dug it too. I learned it's possible to make olives taste even more gross. Anchovies eek, said Mel Stowe. Yeah. Thank you, Amy, for the safe travels. Um, love to you all, Flamingo Pam. Thanks, thanks. I learned Cancun is southeast of Galveston. Thank you, Robert. Uh, thank you, Dylan, for the happy anniversary. 
Uh, Jayana Laurie said, hi, do y'all want to come in on my Zoom? Uh, Jayana, you'll have to send an email to Sharon and see at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us. And then we'll figure out if that's something that we want to do. I learned that I'm jealous of your vacation. Have a great time celebrating. Pam, thank you. Um, for the record, we have put a lot of thought into it. We are looking to make sure that we are safe, uh, masking, uh, distancing wherever we can, and all that good stuff. So, you know, so we will definitely be um, uh, playing it safe. And uh, we have been laying low here. Uh, the last thing that we did publicly was last Tuesday where we did go out and have a bite to eat with Beth and Doug Ullinger and, and hung out with them a little bit. They live right down the road. And, and um, so that was awesome. And since then, we've not done a darn thing besides me go to work. Yeah. We've been on total kinda lockdown. Laying low until we go. We did. Laying low until we go. Laying low until we go. That's right. We've been, we've had some invites to do a few things and thank you to those that did invite us, but we are just laying low a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Teague Neal said, I hope you had a nice ice wine drink. Fabulous show, guys. Thank you, Teague. Uh, we appreciate we that. Uh, Pia said, I'm drunk. I'm glad the chat is ending. Oh. Pia, this is just when we get started, Pia. Oh, my God. Uh, Lindy Lou learned once again, money's a great with Sharon and Jamie. Joanne Ormsby, thank you, thank you. I learned I'm late to Amy Kephart. Um, I learned hashtag post Sharon said so tweet. So tweety, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. We'd love to hear from you and catch up with you a little bit and uh, get the scoop on what you're up to. Are you still vlogging? Uh, all that kind of stuff. Keep us in the loop. Uh, say hi on the Sharon yeah. C. Cruise crew Facebook. I hope Facebook you'll be back to again. cruising soon. Yes. As well. Uh, Neil Drucker learned they all a loving couple. Thank you, Neil. We appreciate that. Uh, Tesla Mott said, where'd the hammer go? Oh, oh. That... <laughs> oh, nice work, Nancy. Thank you for jumping in there. I learned you met at Dunkin' Donuts. I learned Sharon doesn't regret marrying Jamie. He said, party on the sea. Because she didn't wink to Pia. Uh. Sharon likes it. Uh, apple ice wine. There it is. Uh, late troll. We always get a late troll. Uh, that's going to happen. Um, I learned that Sharon and C. Travel is going to the corner of the ice wine market. Um... I'm just pulling your chain, Jamie. Of course, it was dubbed and snoring. You're a delicate sleeper when passed out on a bus. Aww. Please. Now, the farting, that's a whole other story. That oh. runs rampant. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I learned Jamie would make a great teacher. Thank you, See the World with Chris. That's very nice coming from you. I appreciate that. Show that wine again, Sharon. Does it taste like apples, said Kevin it Perez. It does. Here, I'll show the bottle. It's got a very nice flavor. It's got the wine flavor. In, in my that? opinion. Here, I can't see if it. It's got a hint. Um, it's it's wine with a little hint of like an apple cider flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's got an was... apple bite to it. It's very tasty, yeah, I think. Yeah, it, it does have an apple flavor, and it kind of has a little bit of a cider. Yeah. Like yes. It's, good. it's really good. Really good. Um, good night. Have fun. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Sandy and I were married in 2002 also. Mike V, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, to everyone, good evening. And from everyone here at Sharon yeah. Travel, from myself, from Sharon, from Matthew in the other room, from <laughs> Boswell and Lucy, our dogs, from Nautical Nurse Nancy and Leanne Francisconi, the backbone, the hammer and the nail, from all of us, uh, from us to you. Happy cruising. We'll be back there soon, hopefully. Safe travels, and we'll see you next week um, on Thursday night. Next week on Thursday. And there's rumor that coming soon to a live stream near you, a new intro video. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, All right, guys. Maybe when we get back. Hey, thanks a lot. We love you. Thanks for being <laughs> here. Peace out, and we'll see you next time. Have a great night. Good night, everyone. Good night.